Relatively speaking, in the brief history of orbital class rockets, there has never been another company that has matched the success of SpaceX. Elon Musk and SpaceX have reached amazing new heights in the field of rocket reusability. In the time that rockets have been in existence, the goal of 100% reusability has never been achieved. Yet SpaceX continues to make impressive strides in their orbital class rocket and is close to achieving this long sought after goal. According to the SpaceX website, the Falcon 9 has had 245 successful flights with 203 pinpoint landings and 179 reflights and counting. Now that's a game changer. The Falcon 9 first stage boosters continue to break records. Boosters 1058 and 1060 have now flown a record breaking 16 times as of July 2023. The boosters shattered the Space Shuttle Atlantis record of 54 days which was set back in 1985 with a turnaround relaunch of 27 days after successfully delivering their respective payloads into low earth orbit the booster safely returned to the landing pad like an arrow hitting a bullseye with so much potential and opportunity on the horizon the falcon 9 may someday achieve airliner like efficiency in fact in a recent article Elon Musk responded by saying rocket makers should either go all in on reusability or risk being uncompetitive. He also said rockets are no different from other transport technologies, just harder to make reusable. In today's economy where each penny matters, I believe it's necessary to have reusable rockets. The benefits associated with producing a reusable fleet far outweigh the recovery, maintenance and production costs of the quintessential expendable rockets that have been commonplace until now. Like Musk said, no one would buy a single-use airplane, car, or even bicycle. You would need to tow another car just for the return trip. Why should rockets be any different? Rocket reusability has driven the cost of orbit increasingly lower as prices continue to fall. SpaceX operates their own Starlink satellite network while at the same time several satellite producers have benefited from SpaceX's small sat rideshare program and will continue to do so as satellite uses throughout the world continues to grow. Additionally, the costs associated with ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station have also been significantly reduced as the SpaceX rocket reusability drives down operating expenses. In turn, this makes SpaceX extremely attractive to NASA and other space companies who endeavor to save on transportation costs. On May 30th, 2020, SpaceX lost its first two astronauts, Bob Bacon and Doug Hurley, to the International Space Station on board the Falcon 9 booster, which brought a celebrated end to America's dependency on Russian rockets. And on September 16th, 2021, SpaceX launched the first all-civilian crew, also using their Falcon 9 booster accomplishing another successful trip and achieving yet another first. Since that time, SpaceX has made many successful trips to low Earth orbit while ferrying astronauts from all around the world. The Falcon 9 has proven to be a dependable option as companies around the world primarily use SpaceX as their carrier of choice. Government overruns and congressional budget cuts tend not to affect SpaceX as reusability has made the company the premier rocket producer. In comparison, NASA's costs associated with maintaining the SLS or Space Launch System and its projected lunar schedule continue to track well over budget and undergo continuous reviews for cost analysis and technical program assessments. While at the same time, Continued delays due to maintenance issues and cost overruns associated with the Boeing Starliner only serve to shine a brighter light on the Falcon 9, as NASA now uses SpaceX as an alternative. It seems the Falcon 9 has taken center stage as it continues to make amazing strides. Ultimately, the future of SpaceX lies in Starship. Their premier rocket designed to be 100% reusable and with a booster system which nearly reached orbit on its inaugural flight, 
Starship has the potential to one day serve as the primary go-to rocket for NASA in future missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX has a long-term strategy to mass produce and to test Starships via an assembly line process. Rapid testing gives the company valuable, usable, real-time data which can be immediately implemented. This also gives the company the ability to design, test, and make necessary changes at lightning speed. Each new production is slightly more advanced than its predecessor. The idea is to produce an entire fleet of reusable rockets. Elon Musk believes that the best chance for humanity to reach the red planet is to construct an infrastructure consisting of multiple launch towers and production and testing facilities to manufacture a variety of Starship types from the same primary design. The ships will consist of tankers, cargo and human transports, space stations, and lunar landers built as a framework with reusability and durability in mind and the goal to travel anywhere in the solar system and successfully return safely back to Earth again.